Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install SQLite database on your Windows 10 operating system. So what is SQLite? SQLite is an open source embedded database. By embedded, I mean it doesn't require any server in order to communicate with that database. You can directly install or you can directly create your database on your file system of your computer and then directly communicate with it directly without the need of any server, right? So it's easy to transfer this database from one computer to another computer by just copying and pasting it into your USB drive and then transfer or by any other means. The best use case I can give you uh, for the SQLite database is, uh, for example, many Android applications are using SQLite to store the data locally on your Android device and then fetch that data whenever required by that application. So let's see how we can download it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for SQLite. And the first link which will appear here will be from SQLite.org. So we are going to click on that link. And once you are inside that website, you will be able to see the downloads button on the front page. So just search for the download button. In this case, here it is. So I'm going to just uh, click on this downloads button. And on the downloads page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just scroll down a little where I can see pre-compiled binaries for uh, Windows. And here I'm going to choose the last option which says SQLite tools minus Windows 32 minus x86, which is a zip file. Okay, so I'm going to download this uh, zip file. And once this zip file is downloaded, I'm going to just go to the folder where I have downloaded this file and I'm going to minimize my browser. And now I'm going to extract this zip file. You can uh, use anything to uh, extract it. So I'm going to use uh, seven zip for this. And once you have extracted this uh, zip file, you will be able to see this kind of uh, folder. It says SQLite tools win32, right? And when you go inside this uh, folder, you will be able to see three executable file. And the most important uh, executable file for us is this one, which is SQLite 3. So first of all, what I will do is I will just copy this folder or let me cut this folder from here. And then I'm going to paste it into my C directory. So I'm going to go to my C directory and then I'm going to paste this uh, folder here. And then I'm going to just rename it to SQLite 3. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, rename this file as SQLite 3. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to set the environment variable for SQLite so that whenever we run the SQLite 3 command, it's recognized by our command line from any folder. So for that, what I need to do is I will just go inside this SQLite 3 folder, which I have created inside the C directory. And then I'm going to just copy this path up to the folder, okay? So just copy this path. And then next, uh, I can just right click on my Windows icon here. And then I'm going to just click on system. And once the system window opens, I'm going to go to the advanced system settings. And then I'm going to go to environment variables. And then I'm going to go to path in system variable. And then I'm going to say edit to edit this path. Now in order to add this uh, variable, I'm going to just click on new and then just paste the path of the SQLite uh, folder here. Now, uh, once you do this, you just need to click OK, OK, and then you can just click OK here and then close this uh, system window. Now, in order to test your SQLite, you just need to open your uh, command prompt. So to open the command prompt, you can just right click on this uh, window icon and then open the command prompt from here. You can see command prompt admin. So I'm going to open this uh, command prompt from here. 
and then once the command prompt is open I can just test it by giving SQLite 3 command okay so just give SQLite 3 command and you can see it gives us uh, the version of SQLite we have downloaded so we have downloaded and installed uh, the 3.22.0 version uh, of SQLite right now how you can uh, create a database or how you can exit out of uh, this database so let me show you how you can uh, exit out of this database so to exit you just need to just write dot quit okay so just write dot quit and you will come out of this uh, SQLite shell okay now in order to create a database because the SQLite database is created locally in the file system so for that you just need to uh, just cd to the directory in which you want to create your uh, sqlite database so let's say i want to create this sqlite database on my desktop so what uh, we are going to do is we are going to create a database folder on our desktop let's say so i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to name it as uh, db folder and once uh, you have created your db folder i'm going to just open this db folder and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy this path up to db and i'm going to cd in this uh, folder so cd and then just paste the path and then press enter so you will uh, be inside this uh, folder using your command line now in order to create a database you just need to give this command which is sqlite three and then your database name so for example my database name i want to give is my db dot db dot db is the extension you can also give dot sqlite extension also and then press enter which is going to create a, your database but you will not see directly uh, the database created in your uh, database directory which you have created now in order to view this uh, database which you have created you can uh, give two commands one is you can either give for example dot databases command which is going to list out all the databases and in turn uh, it's going to uh, just uh, create this uh, mydb uh, file inside your uh, uh, folder in which you are working in so right now you can see one database is listed now which is inside my db folder which is uh, the folder i'm currently in right and you can also see this my db file here you can either do this or you can create a table in order to uh, create this database and view this database inside your folder so for example i can uh, create a table inside my database using uh, create table command so create table and then the table name for example students table and then uh, you can uh, give your column names inside your database so for example i want to just give uh, one column which is uh, id the name of the column is id the data type of this column is let's say int and let's say it's a primary key of uh, my table so i can just give primary uh, key option here so just give primary key and because sqlite is case independent so you can uh, write this primary key or this id in capital letters also or in small letters also and don't forget to give this semicolon in order to execute your query okay so just add the semicolon and then press enter and this table will be created inside your database now how you can list uh, those tables so for listing out all the tables inside the database you can just write dot tables and then press enter and you can see student table is there now in order to see the schema of this table you can just write dot schema and then whatever table schema you want to see so for example i want to see the student uh, table schema and then press enter and you can see the schema which we have created uh, with this table right 
So in this way, you can download and install SQLite on your uh, Windows 10 operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye for now.